Once we've created an effect, there are a lot of attributes that we can alter to change the state, speed, and other factors of that effect. To learn about effects, let's look at one of our pre-programmed ones in live. Make sure we're in live. Let's go to queue out, enter. And let's bring up group 12 to full. And we're gonna put that in focus palette two. Now from here, we're going to apply our effect. We're going to use effect 901, which is our circle effect. So you can see that immediately starts running. From our effect tab, let's get there with effect effect. We can make some edits here. So over on the right hand side, you'll see the effect type is focus, which is one, a type of our relative effects. The cycle time is five. If we edit that, it will speed up or slow down accordingly. If I change this to a cycle time of three, it's going to go faster. because Now it's completing one revolution in three seconds instead of five seconds. Or I could make it be 10 and slow it down. Let's put that back to five. The parameters are which parameters are running in this effect. The scale refers to the size of the effect. The default size is 25. If we make that a smaller number like 10, it's gonna really tighten up that circle. Or if we make it something larger like 75, it's gonna be really gigantic. We're gonna leave that at 20 right now. The duration is how long that effect is going to run. Infinite means that it will run until the queue tells it to stop. Attributes refer to which direction the effect is running. So if I switch just to reverse, those will run in the opposite direction. Entry and exit have to do with how the effect begins and ends when we're going into or coming out of a queue. Timing refers to where the effect gets its time. The default is from the queue or sub that contains the effect. We could also select a specific time here. Grouping determines how channels running the effect will be distributed throughout the pattern. The default is spread, but I could change this to any number that I need to. For example, if I change it to one, they're going to act as one group going around the circle pattern. If I change it to two, every other fixture is going to go around that circle. In this case, since there are five fixtures, five is the same as spread. Put that back to spread. Trail determines how channels follow each other through the effect as a percentage of the cycle time. The default is even, which means the fixtures are distributed evenly throughout the path. If I change it to solo, the first fixture will execute the entire cycle, and when that's finished, the second fixture will, and so on. If I put a trail of 10%, the fixtures will follow each other with a slight lag. Feel free to play with these settings until you get the effect that you're looking for. To stop an effect, get back into live, we can say group 12 effect at enter, or we can say effect 901 at enter.